Now I'm sure as all my faithful loyal viewers know that I am the OG Animal Crossing lover slash connoisseur slash professional. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Anyone who tries to tell me otherwise, I'm slicing your neck right now. But with Animal Crossing 2019, aka Animal Crossing Switch, with a title not being released yet, there are many things that I want to be added to this game that I do think will make this even, even better. Oh, this game can be so good. I have so many ideas that I want Nintendo. Just please watch this video, take my ideas. All of you just email Nintendo right now with my ideas, and please, I will compensate you all dearly now first things first of course you gotta lay the groundwork you gotta start with the atmosphere which what truly makes a game oh just fantastic atmosphere is what really truly makes a game in my opinion now for this game i definitely of course as all animal crossing games so far have a memorable gentle yet hard-hitting ost one where you can just sing the music in your head or you can go along with it or you get so immersed in the game that you don't even know that 10 hours have already gone by <laughs> Problem. As I'm already a big, big, big fan of quality music in the game, I think Animal Crossing is one that can just set the tone so much more relaxed and calm, yet so exciting and delicate to where it'll definitely put the game so much higher on the game's ratings. And of course, from my Nintendo, I expect the most quality HD graphics and HD character models I can find. Now, even some, even some fake uh, fan-made images that I found of an Animal Crossing game that would be on the Switch a while back in my really old video, if you guys didn't already see that there are some very interesting models and i think if nintendo can replicate something like that but even better attention to detail in the environmental setting will just make things so much more oh oh so much more beautiful kind of similar to like what they did in breath of the wild how you can even hear the grass blowing in the wind those kind of sound effects but i want something like that i want to hear the leaves blowing in the wind i want to hear thunderstorms whether you're inside your house at nighttime or daytime whether you're outside the house there's nothing wrong with more layers in a game in my opinion but even more in the nitty gritty than the atmosphere of this game is I want some additions to the exploration in quotes and adventure in quotes that's an Animal Crossing. Not just your town, but have nearby forests or caves or just something more onto your normal town rather than just having a beach. I want to have some more caves and forests where you can explore and go on in air quotes expeditions to these different areas. We'll have a lot more collectibles like rare minerals, rare materials, crafting items fruits bugs and kind of what i just mentioned i want them to add in different collectibles to this game it's like gems maybe we could have meteor rice for maybe a star storm to happen one night in the game and different types of rare lloyds and gyroids that are collectibles that can be traded in and of course i want the weather to affect the ability to find certain fish or maybe certain events like during a thunderstorm again because it's a really good example it could cause damage to some of your townsfolk houses and you can help them by giving them more materials to help them fix it, giving them more money, or maybe if it ha were to happen to your house, you would have to pay even more money to know to repair it, setting you even more behind on your rent. But basically, I want this to be a borderline open world, but still have like the staple big town, not a city, just like past Animal Crossing games, but have more areas you can go. And, and also having a neat thing like cross pollination of fruit, kind of like what you can do with flowers, and make cool different crossbreeds and stuff like that. And of course, just like with past Animal Crossing game, these things will be different based on every single person's town like every town will have a different combination of fruit animals things they can find things that are rare things that you can't find you have to actually have friends to be able to go to their town or their areas their forests and things like that but yet again need i say more there are many new activities as well as on top of the explanation i guess you could say mini games that i want to be in this new animal crossing game for 2019 now the biggest thing that i cannot express how much more will make me shed a tear if Nintendo announced this would be cooking mechanics in an Animal Crossing game. I think that will make so many more layers and depths and so many more different types of things you could do with your friends or in your own town among your own townspeople. And I'm not talking about you just initiating the sequence. I'm talking about you actually performing the action, kind of like what you have to do with fishing or catching a bug. You actually having to combine certain things you collected like fish, bugs, fruits, or flowers or anything like that like you can put flowers in your food who knows something to make your food available to be sold unique creations being worth more certain dishes having pre-established prices and certain re um pre-established uh recipes that you can make for food and of course cooking contests that take place both in your own town between you and your friends towns and even have online rankings for towns people's satisfaction points like points go from the voters of your food based on variety uniqueness combination 
presentation, everything. Like you could use the flowers that you planted from your own garden to have not an edible part of the dish, but have more presentation to make it more colorful, make it look and give you more credibility points when the people vote for it. I really want a cooking mechanic to be really immersive and creative in Animal Crossing. As you guys can probably tell, I put a lot of thought into this. Another cool, interesting thing will be treasure hunts. Kind of like a cross between traditional animal crossing and pocket camp like certain people in your town or animals in your town will ask certain things that can be found anywhere in the game in return for items or bells or materials making the quest not the main thing for talking to people like it is in pocket camp but just an additional thing to talking to animals now this is something that already exists but crafting is already a mechanic that is in pocket camp but i want this brought into the new animal crossing switch game the way it is in pocket camp but i want to twist on it to where some items can only be crafted some items can only be bought in store on certain days and times like it is in old animal crossing games but some can be gotten by both ways but this crafting will cost a certain amount of money of a certain type of currency and it'll be just up to the players to determine which is the better value of what you have at the time how much money you have if you can only buy one or if you have to wait for the other in the store anything like that and whoo that actually went on a lot longer than i thought but that's actually it for what i have those are everything that i want that's brand new that we don't already have in the new Animal Crossing Switch game that is coming in 2019 and I cannot wait. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know in the comments below what new things do you guys want to see in Animal Crossing 2019 that isn't already in the Animal Crossing games. Do you want to see some of the things that I mentioned or do you have your own ideas? Like I said, I want this game to have so much many more layers and immersion, not too realistic to where it takes the fun out of it, but still, but, but still definitely fun, have a lot of layers and be a very very enjoyable game that has a lot of replay value and lasts a very long time and people will very much enjoy it because i already know it's gonna sell well but anyway please leave a like on the video if you did enjoy share with your friends share the channel with your friends and everything like that plenty more videos to come if you guys did enjoy that much more then make sure you hit that subscribe button to really show your support because it really helps me out a ton and make me make more videos for you guys because i really enjoy making the content hope we can do this more and more i want to thank you all for checking out this video and stay tuned for plenty more to come peace guys